Shout out to everybody here on your Saturday morning. Thank you for jumping on in. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Sam Price, the Crypto Lifer. Thank you for being here. You know, I did go to the Celtics game last night, but I was trading. Of course I was. And while I was in the Uber on my way home, I drew this pennant. You can see I drew this pennant in my, on my cell phone because, you know, if you ever trade on your cell phone with little screens a lot smaller with little mini hands playing around there, you feel like you're in a mini world. But, you know, and I, and I was attempting to try to do something like this, something like that, and it just made more sense that I completed this angle this way. But I found, you know, what I felt like was a consolidated pennant here. You know, it wasn't perfect because I did draw it in the car. It was bumping around. But I got an idea of what was happening. And, and then I took a measured move from about here to there. I'll be honest, my measured move was more of something like this, okay? The length of the pole, I swung it up. But I'll tell you something that I do, a lot of times I'll stick to the exact measured move. But if I see that we break above a resistance here, it's likely we're going to head up to like this next bigger area. So... To me, it was likely we would go to about, you know, that next area where I'd put my yellow line, which was about 21,026. You know, we would hit 21K a few times. And look, we would wake up to it last night and or even this morning. I would wake up at 6, 5 a.m. and right 5.45, right around here, see? And I would open my phone and next thing I know, I would see us. I'd be like, oh, we're almost at the target. And next thing I know, we would hit the target. So um, I posted this last night to my trading group. So if you're in my trading group, you were privy to the move for Bitcoin almost I mean, it gets to the dollar. I mean, I said 21,024 or something. It went to 21,084, you know? It is what it is, though. It's, it's really simple support and resistance. <clears throat> doesn't make me a genius or anything. You could do it, too, every single day of the week. You know, simple as that. Just come to my live stream, and I'll teach you, and you will learn. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday nights at 8 p.m. I also teach class the last Saturday of every month and every single Tuesday, 3 to 5, Eastern Time, Eastern Time, like New York City time. So, anyway... What do I see happening? I mean, Bitcoin is in this falling wedge that it broke out of. The measured move for the falling wedge is 21,800. Yes, it seems unlikely. There's some in and outs there, but look at this 15-minute oscillating, and we could break down. So I'm going to take away this idea because this happened, and la yesterday's news doesn't <clears throat> pay the bills. Like yesterday's TA doesn't, you know, get you to the next level. We got to look at something and see what's going on. So I see a level here. I see a bit of a level here. You could say we're in a bit of a channel like so. I also have switched over here to this, and I've been looking at this idea, looking like we're in a bit of a tighter channel. And inside of here, I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing some inverted head and shoulder type of vibe going on in here. It's not perfect. And I see a little, high, I see a node. If we can get above what looks like this little local high volume node, I could see a skip to Malu up to 22,300. That would be the measured move of this flag to the upside the conservative measured move too, just the length of the base of this triangle you could even go a little further and say maybe it goes all the way to the pole you know what i mean i've seen both happen most of the time like you know if we get that surge we're gonna hit the next higher level but again you can see my level here is the next resistance area um let's see like right here we had resistance we bounced through we almost came to it here and here we kind of befuddled through it and got rejected at 22,738, around that 22,800 area. The 7 to the 800 areas are always just, uh, you know, it's the next hurdle usually uh, before you get to the next big number. You have to go through that, that level. So I am looking at this. It's a bit of a symmetrical triangle, if I had to say. It's kind of like a hybrid of, a, of an ascending triangle and a symmetrical triangle. It has some ascending triangle vibes. Um, the inverted head and shoulder inside is something you do see inside of an ascending, but it's got a little more of a peak to the upside. It could almost be a rising wedge. So uh, it's a hybrid. Sometimes you get hybrids. Patterns are not exactly the same every single time. They're a bit of, you know, you got to work with it. Nothing in life is exact. You know, everything in life is is a movement, is a flow, is a Fibonacci dance, so to speak. So if you like what I'm putting down, hit the like button, please. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for jumping on in. So sorry, let me get that music back and pumping and running. I just wanted to break down the seriousness of the matter. No, but look, the one hour is oversold here, and this is showing signs that we could break above the resistance. Every time you make a higher low, okay, but you re-oscillate <coughs> on the stochastics RSI, it's a bullish thing. Just like if you re-oscillate on the, on the RSI and you make, like, look, you go bearish when, say, look, you come up here. You make a high on the one-hour time frame on the, on the stochastics. You come back down, you come back up on the stochastics RSI. This is my favorite indicator here, stochastics RSI. I just have divergences on it. But look, so you make this high. Price comes back up and oscillates. 
See, the thing is, this will most 90% of the time go from dotted line to dotted line. So that's your constant. As a scientist, a data scientist, because that's what you are, in my humble opinion, if you're going to be hanging out with me all the time, you're, you're farming data throughout the charts to be able to give yourself a probability. That's what, man, I mean, you know, very similar to a scientific outcome inside of an experiment. So you're looking at a control. What's your control? Our control is the stochastic RSI hitting the dotted lines. Stick with me. I can break this down for you in so many different ways to teach you how to think about it. So look, when you can't, when you oscillate back to the top line here and you can't get above the previous high, that's a nice short to the downside. This is telling you that the momentum wouldn't get you where you needed to go, right? So you can swip this, you can flip this idea and we can take that away for now. It's a great teaching moment. And we can get back to over here and we can look at this and we can say, well, we oscillated down, right? And we hit this low and then we came back and we oscillated down again and we hit a higher, a higher low. So if you were to flip that upside down and think about the, these were flipping up, right? And you would hit a high and then they flipped up again. Like you would likely short that, right? And it looks like a shoulder head and a shoulder. It doesn't look like a good pattern, right? If, if you were, if you saw this, would you, would you long that pattern? I wouldn't long that pattern, right? But that's upside down. So it's kind of now telling you, hmm, maybe you would long this pattern. You get what I mean? Because if it was upside down and you wouldn't have longed it, because you said the price was, th that means you think the price would go this way, right? Because look, that looks like a descending triangle that's going to dump on you, doesn't it? For, to me, it does. I mean, and a shoulder head and a shoulder. So, I mean, we flip it back upside down and now we say, oh, maybe we will go to 22,226. Maybe this guy isn't so out of his mind. Maybe this TA isn't so far-fetched. You know, and so we are going to watch the one hour today, but it's bullish to me because it's oversold in the one hour time frame and we're oversold in the 15 minute. That's where I like to open trades. Again, you do whatever makes you happy. I don't mind. You know what I mean? But I've said it many times on my channel. I love when the 15 minute and the one hour are both in tandem and oversold. Seven minutes a little high for me. That could make it a little better, but it's just the seven minute. But anything could happen. I would watch it just in case it could start a dump and change the whole situation. Anything could happen at any given moment in time. We could dump right now for a thousand dollars right now. You know what I mean? You have, if you don't understand and not open-minded, if you're open-minded enough to believe you could turn 10,000 into a million, then you have to be open-minded to believe that anything is possible. And if you're open-minded to believe anything is possible, then you have to believe that anything is possible. So if anything is possible, then couldn't Bitcoin dump right now? Yes. So you must be on your toes at all times. So to believe that anything could go up is to believe that anything could go down and to really be a true trader. This is the mindset of trading in the zone. I think you should get that book by Mark Douglas and get yourself situated. So anyway, I'm going to be watching Bitcoin on the one hour and the 15 minute for most of the afternoon. They're looking pretty bullish and we're going sideways. For most right now, we have bounced off 20,500 and held it as a beautiful support zone. So look, uh, for us to, you know, now let's look at the bearish tone is we could break down from this and this could be considered a rising wedge that wants to dump all the way back down to our support zone here. We could lose this point of control, do a bearish retest and dump. I'm open-minded that that could happen too as well. So like I have like, I'm always open-minded. And then you're like, dang, you just flipped it on me, lifer. But you have to stay grounded. There's always, you know, and I did that on purpose. And the more I do that, the more I'm going to bend and twist your brain until you become just like me. You know what I mean? So if that made you kind of like, you just said it was bullish, but now you could see it's bearish. And now I'm like, and it also tells you that you need to listen to yourself, right? And find your own kind of game. Listen, everyone, you see at the screen there, at the bottom of the right screen, that's ATB every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's called Around the Blockchain. It's an awesome show. DZ is the host. Then we have four guests. I'm one of them. Come to that show. I would greatly appreciate it. Moving to its own channel this January, so I really want to hype it up and get it going just to let y'all know, all right? So I told you my special sauce for the day. I'm going to be watching Bitcoin on this one hour, 15-minute time frame. That should take five, eight, nine hours to kind of follow through to either sideways or to the upside. So it's looking pretty bullish for Bitcoin. Again, Doge pumping huge off the news, right? And this is a Doge 3L token. You could take a mighty advantage of that to the upside. Doge is absolutely exploding up 77.77. 77. I keep telling you about the 77s seven lately. Every time I do something, that's really strange. 77.77% 77 .77 um, for Doge right now on the dot. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really strange. Yeah, it's right there. It just changed, but for a while, it was 77.77. I mean, uh, pretty nuts. Um, anyway, oh, it's back to 77.77 again. Look, it's so weird. Like, now it's gone again. They just wanted to make, oh, just in case you, you know, to show, show them it was true. Look, so Elon is a little coin called Elongate, 
all right? I was actually looking at it in this tight wedge. It would slide down a little bit. I, I've been trading this coin on and off since it was really, really, really little. Um, I sold it off, and I haven't bought back in yet. I'll be dead honest. It's very low at the bottom. I'm not sure if it does have potential. You never know, though. It could continue to pump. It's the lowest on the totem pole, so it could make the biggest gains. So it's Elongate. You got Doge Chain and Doge, and those are all just getting extremely hugely pumped. We found this coin Doge, Doge Chain last Saturday, and it, it's it's just been climbing. Since we've put this coin out to the trading group and looked at it, and look at this flag that just ripped. It is now up 700% since last Saturday when we looked at it on October 21st. I think I found maybe one of the biggest gainers in the entire game. And my whole crew would have learned about it. You would have known about it in my trading group. You would have might have been trading it on and off. And even once it's up and, and you made, I've made my gains and you made your gains and it's up to you to continue to track it or decide whether you want to rip with this or not. And you know what I mean? High risk, high reward. It's a tiny, it's a low cap gem on KuCoin for sure. And it's starting to get higher and higher. But like, could it continue? Like if Bitcoin rips out of that flag, I mean, and Doge just keeps moving. I mean, this may just continue to pump to the upside. So I'd be watching Doge chain. I'd be watching Doge. The hype may continue. The whole world just jumps into Doge, man. I'm telling you, they love it. Uh, they love, you know, it's a whole Elon love fest and it, and it rips. So I'd be watching this coin, possibly another 27% gains out of Doge chain. But just be very careful. Don't jump into anything that any trader tells you to trade. You know, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm telling, I'm just showing you something I'm looking at. Not financial advice. Nothing I say and do on this channel should be taken as such. So just, I want you to, you know, remember you are the master of your realm. Make sure, you know, you don't listen to anyone but yourself. But I'm just showing you the coins that follow Doge, Doge Chain, Elon Gate, Doge, Doge 3L. That's kind of how, you, you know, so there's like four ways to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, take advantage of a Doge move. This 15 minute flag for Doge on the 3L looks like it could pump with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin pumps right now, this is going to continue to pump. And with the news with Elon on a Saturday, with all the people out on the stock market, this thing might just fly again on a Saturday up 41%, you know? So I'd be watching this closely. Uh, Doge seems to be the move, you know? Stick with the mover that's moving uh, when I see big action. Again, it could dump in two seconds. Be careful. Always have a stop loss. Always believe that anything could happen the other way. So we're going to be watching Bitcoin in the flag that I talked about. I'm going to make sure it doesn't break these zones. If it does, we could slightly readjust, right? I'll bring you back to the other uh, chart I was looking at. And some other things I want to talk about on the bigger time frames, all right? Before I jump on out of here for the rest of the day, uh, one thing I want to really talk about is this. We are still bullish as long as we remain above this 200 simple moving average and the four hour remains healthy. So if we can stay above the 200 simple, this yellow line for a good two, three, four, five weeks, or at least a month, that tells me that we're starting to create a whole different scenario than we've been in before. And the bear market is beginning to end or at least wane off. And we're starting that pre-bull transmission period or that that post. It's like post bear pre-bull. It's like a meshing period. And it lasts about eight, nine months. Like it's not, you know, maybe almost even, you know, it could even be a little longer. But it's it's the growing pain out of the situation. One thing I really want to look at, too, is to see if uh, the weekly chart, right? We still, Bitcoin has not reclaimed the 200 simple. That's a big deal. We need to get back above the 200 simple on the weekly. We need to get back above the 200 simple on the daily. However, it does start on the four hour and continues on. And it's the first chart that I would take significant notice of. And I'll go back in time and show it to you. But every single time that we got above the 200 simple on the four hour, it began like that was a, a giant rally here that ripped us up for a lot. And then we came down, we got above again, another giant rally, both, you know, once we got above 47, all the way to 70 K, no joke here, 33, all the way up to 52,000, like no joke, you know, here's another thing we played with. It got above it. Huge move. We bounced off it. Huge move. And here, like the rally really began right here when the four hour would get above it. Are we right there? We look somewhat like we do now. So I'm not guaranteeing it, but there's just some hope in the air. You know what I mean? You got to take it for what it is one day at a time. If you live in the present moment, not in the past or the future, and you just take it for what it is, then that is a, then bull markets begin when you get above the four hour uh, 200 simple. So we'll take it from there. And I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. Remember, I go live tonight. I go live every single day, Monday through Friday, and uh, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday nights at 8 p.m. I can't wait to see you there at the live stream. So everyone, love, life, the pursuit of happiness, and uh, have a great Saturday. Hope you're with your family, with your kids, do whatever you gotta do, make your wife happy, make your husband happy. 
uh, significant other, whoever you're living with. And thank you so much for your time, your most precious asset. That is your time. You're with the Crypto Lifer, and I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. We can go over what we went over, see if Bitcoin does pump out of this flag. Stay with me. If you're in my trading group, $3 a day, jump on in. I will give you every single thing I have. You get updates just like this throughout the day. So these weekends are just like, I want to give you an example of what you get if you join the trading group. So I can't wait to see everyone there tonight at 8 p.m. for the live stream. I'll see you tonight. Crypto is life, baby. I love you all.